Hello my friends, this is Coxner. Only on the last few comments on my last video I didn't answer because I was already scripting this video. The video was posted around noon yesterday, so I received first the comments from Europeans and later from Americans. All in all, it seems that everybody agrees with my thoughts and gave me some additional impulses to think about. First, I made only a comparison between America and Europe. I worked for 13 years in Africa and also 10 years in Asia. I will leave this out. For this reflection, it's not really important because actually the ideological curse for our future is still set in our continents, at least for the moment. In Britain and Ireland was this year a survey and I remember Dylan Cole made a video motivating people to admit on this survey that they are atheists and that Christianity is not necessary a part of being British. So that an Englishman can be English without being Christian. It sounds really funny that you really need to say this to people, that their origin has nothing to do with their religion. I remember also, I guess, Ghostbush did this uh, for Ireland, or for the Irish survey. So this was only an additional argument for my last video and I don't need to add something for the nation under God. My new reflection for today is the coming out as an atheist. And I will start again in Europe. If you are not banned culturally or if you don't work for a religious institution, I don't think that you will ever have problems simply stopping to go to church. You won't even lose the right to get your children baptized or married in church if you really need the ceremonial. You will still live your life and nobody would ever ask you what happened, nor somebody would ask you to become a militant atheist. You will be free to do this at any moment in your life. My guess on America is different. You have to catch the right moment to come out. At a certain point in your life, it will be not possible anymore. Probably, even as a secret atheist, you will still go to church. The social pressure would not allow you to stand for what you are. If you have children at school, how your children will be treated. At the football game, you don't stand up for the pre-game prayer, or the neighborhood activities are organized by the church. Maybe your boss is in the same church or prefers people of his religion. Well, you know what I mean. My admiration goes to people who are brave enough to do this step. What can we do to make it easier for them? This should be the, our question, this should be our goal, and this should be the topic where we have to speak about. We can offer a lot of alternatives for ceremonies, and yes, look, why not even do a business about it? Yeah, why not? Like uh, a wedding planner, a secular wedding planner or so. It's, it's only an example. Letting people know where are our meetings and tell them that they are welcome in our meetings. It's also an important step. So it's, it's about creating a social life apart from the church, for the family, for children, you know. Yeah, there are so many examples how we can help. So, being somehow organized is not that bad. 
I need your thoughts and I invite you to leave me your comments and we can go on with this kind of discussion. I will salute those brave fellows who came out as atheists and especially those who are doomed to death for apostasy, our ex-Muslim brothers and sisters. So, for this week I will probably help out some friends on another channel. Who knows, maybe you will see me there. Then I want to give my thoughts on Thunderfoot's last video. After this it will be time for some of my silly stuff and finally I'm scripting a new serial about the real history of the Crusades, but watched from the Muslim side and from the Christian side in the same moment. So there are maybe two narratives speaking together, maybe other uh, persons also. Maybe I will need some actors. When the script is ready, I will let you know. Until then, you know, caress you and thank you very much. Ciao.